This is Jonathan Simpson with Warcraft Science on how to use power auras. The information in this tutorial was correct as of Cataclysm Patch 4.0.6 and may contain errors in later versions. You might have noticed how Blizzard has integrated audio and visual warnings for certain buffs and procs on most classes. This feature was adapted from an add-on called Power Auras. This add-on is an extremely useful addition for anyone, though more complicated to learn than most. To open the settings for Power Auras, you can go through the Game Menu, Interface, Add-ons, Power Auras, and then click Show Aura Browser, or you can type slash Pala in chat and hit Enter. You'll notice once you open the add-on that it is divided into two groups on the left-hand side. Any auras created in the character effects will only be available on the character you are currently logged in as, and the ones in global effects will be applied to all of your characters. To create a Power Aura, click the New button on the bottom of the window. This will open the effect editor and allow you to set up the aura. The top half of this window contains the basic layout of the aura. If you click the cube on the top left, it will open a palette to pick the color. The texture slider will allow you to choose what graphic you would like to use. The size slider will let you set how large the aura will be. Position sliders allow you to change the location on the screen that the aura will appear, although you can click the unlock button on the power aura window and then simply click and drag the aura you are creating to the desired location. The bottom half of the effect editor is divided into tabs, the majority of which control when and how this aura will become active. The first tab is Activation, which provides the conditions that must be met in order for the new aura to be used during play. The Activation By dropdown towards the top of this tab allows you to select the category of conditions you wish to use for this aura. As you can see, there are a great many of them. It is important to note that there are often several different ways to create a new power aura that will have the same end result, and you should use whichever method makes the most sense to you. In this example, I will use Spell Cooldown. Just below the dropdown is a line to specify the name of the spell, buff, or ability that this aura concerns. It is always most reliable if you type the exact name, with proper capitalization and spacing. There are also checkboxes that restrict when the aura will activate, even if the other conditions are met. You can choose if you want this aura in only one spec or both. Please note that a red X in any checkbox means that if its condition is met, the aura will not activate that a check mark means if the condition is met, the aura will activate, and that if a box is blank, its condition will not be considered by this aura at all. If you are testing an aura in a town, you should remove the default X from the resting box so that the aura can activate for testing purposes. Animation is the next tab, and controls additional effects that are added to the aura. The dropdowns for begin animation and end animation will set effects when the aura becomes active and when it expires. The main animation and secondary animation dropdowns set what additional effects will be applied to the aura when it is active. The animation speed slider changes how fast the animations are applied to the aura, and the animation duration slider sets how long the aura will remain active before it disappears. If the duration slider is set to zero, the aura will remain active until the conditions for it to be active are no longer present. The sound tab has dropdowns that allow you to set a sound to play when the aura becomes active and when it expires. There are quite a few built into the add-on, however you can specify sounds you've collected yourself by typing the full path in the provided line. The sounds will play as you select them from the drop-down to help you in picking an appropriate one. The Timer tab allows you to create a display in seconds once the aura becomes active or deactivates. You can change the size, location, and duration of the timer as well as its position relative to the aura. The timer will count down for the specified time once the aura is deactivated, or up if the checkbox Show Time Since Activation is checked. You can click Test or left-click an aura in the Power Auras window to activate and deactivate it in order to see how it will look. You can also open the Effect Editor by clicking Edit or right-clicking on the aura. Once your settings are complete, simply close the Power Auras window and the settings will be saved automatically. Because Power Auras can be so complex, I'll provide a few examples of ones that I use. Here we see an example of a stacking buff Maelstrom weapon that I use in Enhancement Spec. Notice the Activation By dropdown is set to Buff, and the Stacks line is set to Greater than Zero. Although this power aura would display if I typed equals 1 instead of greater than 0, if I did that, the aura would deactivate once I reach 2 stacks. In this case, I want the aura to activate with 1 stack and stay active even if I have more than 1 stack. As you can see, I have a whole series of auras that work simultaneously, creating a stacking effect that becomes more noticeable as I reach the maximum. The last aura is the only one I gave an additional effect under at the Animation tab because I wanted it to stand out once I have all my stacks. If your power aura is activated by buffs, a new tab appears. If this setting is shown, it will display the number of stacks of the activating buff in a small box that you can customize. Here we see an aura that warns me if I do not have my lightning shield up. Notice the activation by dropdown is set to buff, and the stacks line is set to greater than zero. This only works because I also have the checkbox invert checked. 
This checkbox changes the activation conditions so that it looks for the absence rather than the existence of them. The easy way to create this OR would appear to be setting the stacks line to equal zero. However, that would force the OR to check two things, for a buff called Lightning Shield and that it has zero stacks. Obviously, you cannot have a buff that has zero stacks, so by using the invert checkbox, I avoid this issue. I also have the resting checkbox with a red X. This means that the OR will not activate when I'm resting, which happens anytime you enter a city. Under the animation tab, I did not set a duration, which means this OR will remain active until the conditions are no longer met, meaning when I rebuff myself with Lightning Shield. This OR informs me when my Fire Elemental is again ready for use. Notice the activation by dropdown is set to Spell Cooldown, and Fire Elemental Totem is indicated in the line below. On the animation tab, we can see that I have several effects selected. I also have a duration of 2.5 seconds for the Aura, at which point it will disappear even if I have not yet used this indicated spell. Although many of the major cooldowns and procs are indicated by Blizzard's built-in UI, Power Auras provides a much wider range of options. Although it is complicated to learn, once you have a few of your own auras created, the process becomes much easier. You can also select an aura and copy it if another aura you wish to make is similar. You can then edit the copy to customize it for the correct ability. If an aura will not function properly, make sure the rest of the checkbox is not selected if you are in a town, and perhaps try creating the aura with a different set of conditions that will have the same desired effect. Sometimes it's necessary to reload UI for the power aura to display correctly, especially if you have closed the settings window and reopened it. If you play with them long enough, you can almost always get your power auras to do exactly what you want. I hope you enjoy your first experience with this amazing add-on. Notice the links in the description below as they are related to the video you just watched. If you found this tutorial helpful, please subscribe, click like, and favorite this video as we depend upon your support.